Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Powers of the Prime Deluxe Class Dinobot Sludge. Now, Sludge is, well, Dinobot Sludge. From the feet to the top, he looks pretty good, except I do have one major concern, aesthetic-wise, and it's more of a nitpick than anything. Something that I do find interesting is these are almost the same lower limbs or feet from, well his Triceratops buddy. The overall aesthetic of the figure is quite good. We'll get into the posability in a second. Head sculpt is very, very sad. He looks very sad and angry and frowny, and I don't like that very much. The figure comes with one accessory, and that is his gun. I like the look of the gun, and I do appreciate the fact that they did mold it such that, well, he can actually hold it, because look, there's the dinosaur foot behind his wrist. Now, the one thing I absolutely do not like about this figure, and this is just my very own nitpick, is the placement of his shell wings. I think that they should have included some way to put them up by the shoulders like the original G1 character mold. Not the original toy. The original toy was like this as well. But the, if you look at the original G1 character design, the wings that he is sprouting appear more up towards his shoulders. That is just a stupid nitpick on my part. The figure has a good range of posability. Head is on a swivel. Unfortunately, it does not look up or down. Ball joint in the shoulder, swivel just above the elbow, ratcheting, plastic ratcheting, elbow joint, torso articulation, ball joint in the hip, swivel just underneath that, less than 90 degree bend at the, at the knee, no toe articulation, unfortunately. The figure's transformation is very, very similar to his Triceratops friend, Slug, or Slag as I like to call him. First, full up the fists, into the forearms, then come to the head, or the dinosaur head that's sitting in his, well, lower back, we'll say, open up this little gold panel and flip that whole section up over the dinosaur or the robot head and then fold the gold section down and then flip the dinosaur head 180 degrees, put the arms straight up in the air and then close the section that, well, the wing section. Now there, there's a little bit something that we'll get into a little bit later regarding the wing section. Take the legs, turn them 180 degrees, combine the legs up flip the tail up out of the way, and then push these little heel sections into the leg, or you could just turn the legs and they will fold up. Very, very similar to his slug counterpart. And I forgot, you have to fold the tails out along the body like that. Snap the legs closed, and mine snap closed, but they don't like to stay closed. Then fold the legs up over, and then these little sections underneath his toes will snap into the back there. And this is actually the hardest part of the transformation because I keep screwing this up, oddly enough, because every couple of times I do it, I don't get things lined up completely right with these legs because they have a tendency to pop open in the back like that, or they'll pop open up here and split this section that is the top of the dinosaur mode apart. It's just me being dumb, I guess. Then we come back, combine the tail, fold the legs down, and then grab the dinosaur arms, take the arms, turn them 180 degrees, and then fold them back and ratchet them into place. And they have to ratchet all the way back because if you don't do that, then the rear legs and the front legs won't line up correctly. And here we have our Apatosaurus. I would say Brontosaurus, but apparently science doesn't think a Brontosaurus actually exists. Dinosaur mode is actually pretty small. I don't think an actual Apatosaurus would be this small. Here is Titans Returns Chrome Dome, and as you can see, they are roughly in scale with each other, which just feels weird. The overall look of the dino mode is pretty good, though I wish these legs in the back were a little bit longer, or we could extend them longer. That's just me. The dinosaur head is really cool. I love the look of the clear plastic within the painted plastic underneath or the painted plastic inside. Teeth, gold, I like it a lot. Then there's this little peg that's back here that you can actually, if you're really fiddly with it, you can get a prime armor to peg up underneath his head. And of course I can't do it on camera. There we go because you'll get this little prime armor goatee going, and that's just silly. Now, Sludge is supposed to be a foot, and to do the foot transformation, very simple. 
fold the tail up, you can fold the legs up as you want. Then you take the entire head section, grab it, and unpeg it at this hinge that's just underneath the robot head. So there's the robot head. We'll put that robot head back up, fold up the head until this little peg pegs into the peg hole there. And then what you're supposed to do is rotate the dinosaur head around like that. And I'm sorry, that looks really stupid. Speaking of other things that are silly, you can have this armored gut mode that, let's be honest, most of us Transformers fans are going to kind of look like this in robot mode anyway. Or you can open that up and then attach the prime armor. Whoops. And yeah, these things do have a tendency to pop off very easily, but they go right back on. So prime armor will peg in to that little chest plate or chest hole that he's got going like that and then you fold the arms back and look, he's a, got a baby carrier. Overall, I like Sludge. I think he's definitely worth having, especially if you're picking up all the Dinobots. Thank you so much for watching this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Hit that like button and hammer on the subscribe if you love the video. As always, gang, I am Vault Matrix, and I will catch you next time.